important discussion that we uh, had tonight. Uh, and it's uh, something that will set the path for Council of Europe in the forthcoming period. And that's why I think, uh, as it is clearly written here, that the solidarity and resilience of the European democracies, the respect of the human rights, and their adherence to the rule of law are the best guarantees for each other's prosperity, security, and peaceful future. Also, we should reaffirm the unity around the common values of this organization, where we are members, and as well of the multilateralism based on the international law. We should set a forward-looking agenda of the Council of Europe, putting the people's interests first. Ladies and gentlemen, the European Court of Human Rights is one of the key elements of the Council of Europe. It is a place where hundreds of thousands of European citizens are looking for justice. We must discuss and we must set out a firm agenda that will create an effective mechanism that will enforce the member states to implement the decisions and the judgments of the European Court of Human Rights. Because very often, judgments are made, decisions are made by the European Court for Human Rights, and the member states are not implementing it. I can share one connected with the Macedonians and with the Macedonian national minority in Bulgaria. In this moment, there are 16 judgments or decisions by the European Court of Human Rights that are not implemented in Bulgaria. 16, not one, not two, but 16 judgments and decisions by the European Court of Human Rights are not implemented. These judgments, these decisions are connected with the right of self-identification, with the right of assembly, with the right of participation on elections, with the right of teaching of mother tongue, and with the right of protecting of the national interest and culture. While these decisions are made here in Strasbourg, Sofia declines to implement them, and by that depriving from the basic human rights, citizens of Bulgaria who are declaring themselves as Macedonians. This is something that should not be tolerated, and something that is a bad example in the 21st century. It is a bad example as well for Council of Europe, because people came here, came in Strasbourg, went to the European Court of Human Rights looking for justice. They got the justice, but it cannot be implemented in their domestic country. That's why effective mechanism for implementing of the decisions of the European Court of Human Rights must be created and must be discussed on the Reykjavik Summit. Thank you very much.